Welcome to our tutorial on installing TV Mate on your Fire Stick or Android TV box. The process is simple for both with just a few small differences we'll cover. Follow along and you'll have TV Mate ready in no time. Let's dive in. All right, let's get set up. First, download an app called Downloader from your App Store. If you're using a Fire Stick, it's just called the App Store. On other Android TV boxes, it'll be the Play Store. Once it's downloaded, if you're using a Fire Stick, there's one quick setting you'll need to enable before we can install apps through Downloader. By default, Fire Stick only allows apps from its own App Store. But don't worry, lifting that restriction is super simple. From your Fire Stick's home screen, go to Settings, then select My Fire TV. Click About. Now click Fire TV Stick 4K Max five times. Name may vary slightly depending on device. Navigate back one screen, select Developer Options. Go to Install Unknown Apps, choose Downloader, and enable it. On other Android TV boxes, this process of enabling unknown apps is pretty much the same, but if you are stuck, a quick Google search should show you how for your device. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments down below, or you can open a support ticket on our website in the description. Open the Downloader app, enter code 3730736, and select TV Mate to install from our Toolbox webpage. This code unlocks popular apps for your Fire Stick or Android device using our official Toolbox especially those not on Google Play or Amazon App Store. Android OS, which is what Fire Stick runs on, allows sideloading, just disabled by default for security. Pair it with Xtreme HD IPTV, the best provider for 10 plus years with top EPG channel guide data at 20% off using YouTube 20. All payments accepted and instant delivery. TV Mate works with any service, but why settle for less when you can get the best? Website and code in the description. Now, in TV Mate, select Add Playlist, then choose Xtreme Codes. Enter the IPTV server address, username, and password provided by your IPTV provider. Click Next when done, and your live TV channels and video on demand will load. Some IPTV services use M3U links or Stalker Portal, but Xtreme Codes is the most modern and widely used method. If your service has a lot of content, like the one in this video, it may take a minute to load the first time. Don't worry, that's normal. Just avoid exiting the app during the initial load as it could cause incomplete loading. We've sped up this video to save time for you fellow cord cutters because we know your time is valuable. After pressing done, the screen might take a second or two to move to the next step. That's totally normal, so just hang tight and let it load. The channel guide may initially say no info, but it starts populating right away and finishes loading in a minute or so. For the playlist name, you can enter anything you like, but for this video, we'll stick with the default name it assigns. These are all just initial setup steps, and once that's done, you'll see why TV Mate is the most fluent, well-designed, and reliable app for IPTV. Nothing else comes close. Trust me, TV Mate is worth grabbing a 4K Fire Stick or Android box for if you don't already have one. And we are not getting paid for saying this. We know other apps are out there and we will keep uploading content and the guides on extremediscount.net with other IPTV solutions. Enjoy the rest of the video showing off the interface of TV Mate. Thank you for watching the video and please smash that like and subscribe button. But their big problem is that nobody will buy the products if they're not brightly colored because there's there's all this psychological literature that shows that people think foods taste better if they're brightly colored with dyes. But what about the fact that I interviewed the two state lawmakers from West Virginia who introduced this ban on food dyes and they said, listen, these companies sell these same products chalked up with all these dyes in Europe without the dyes and everybody's eating them there. Why aren't we doing that here? No, the companies don't want to. They tried using cereal companies and Mars, for example, tried getting rid of the artificial dyes and using vegetable dyes, and the colors weren't as bright and people didn't like it. Um, in Europe, they have a completely different way of doing this kind of thing. They said they use the precautionary principle. If there's any suggestion that something in the food supply might be harmful, they require a warning label or they ban it. We have the opposite approach here.